willing to bet that uh, most of you have a toaster on your kitchen counter, or at least have had at some point in your life. Well, conventional toasters are good. They make good toast. That's all they do. <laughs> if it were to go away, you probably, you probably wouldn't suffer any ill effects. You wouldn't miss it that much. But what if you had a, good to a better toaster, one that on the first of every month popped out $100 bills, enough for your family budget? <laughs> Do you like that toaster? Yeah. <laughs> Do you want to protect that toaster? Yeah. I think I would. I think I keep it under pretty close uh, protection. Well, there is no such toaster, I'm sorry to say. Uh -huh. yeah. <laughs> Working people are what provide income for their families. But in the same way, you want to protect that toaster that poops out Benjamins. Wouldn't you want to also protect your income that provides for your family. Um, well, in 1994, I was the toaster. <laughs> I was 28 years old. Tiffany and I had been married for five years. And along the way, we had picked up a mortgage and three kids. <laughs> and Tiffany stayed home with them, with the kids to take care of them. So a lot was riding on my income. I was enrolled in the service, Servicemen's Group Life Insurance Program, which active duty members get uh, to uh, life insurance you don't have to qualify for to help uh, protect you. But we thought maybe we needed more, so we met with our financial advisor and decided we needed more protection to make sure that this young family would be protected if something happened to me. So that's the first reason I want to sell insurance. I want to make sure people are protected, that their families are taken care of. Second one, there's a lot of agents and companies out there that use unscrupulous means to sell life insurance to people. Maybe for the wrong reason, maybe the wrong type of insurance, maybe the wrong amount for their, their dreams and goals. The company that I won't name tried that on me one time. I was in there, they were trying to convince me to buy more life insurance. They had me in the back room, they were working me over pretty hard. I wasn't budging, so they brought in their finisher. <laughs> he said, Mike, is your, is your wife good looking? Well, I think so, yeah. <laughs> he said, well, that's good because she'd have to get married again in five years with the amount of life insurance that you have. <laughs> what a horrible way to try to sell someone a product that is meant to protect them. So, I don't want to just sell people life insurance. <clears throat> I don't want to just sell policies to sell them and to make money. I want to make sure people have the right amount of money to protect their dreams and to work it as part of their overall financial plan. So the title of, my, title of my speech maybe shouldn't be, why do I want to sell life insurance? Maybe it should be, why do I want to talk to you about your overall financial picture and educate you on why, how life insurance might fit into that? That's the approach I want to take in my financial planning. Help people see the big picture, educate them, help them make a plan, and help them reach their goals. <laughs> so, and it, it fits in with the mission statement of the group of planners that I work with, which is to elevate financial literacy so people can make informed decisions and become financially independent. And we do that by educating them, making the plan, and providing only the products they need to meet their specific goals. So as we enter the renewal phase of this nascent new year, <laughs> I urge you, consider your own situation. Look at how well your family is protected. Would they be okay if, if something happened to your primary provider? Are you on track to meet your financial goals and dreams?
And are, uh, do you know what you need to do to meet to get those? If you need help with that, that's where I come in. I'm looking for practice to help coach, help people coach them through. And whether you need parts or not, I'd be glad to help you do that if, if you need help. So, with that, I want to make a toast to the new year. <laughs> <laughs>